And I'm back again with another vlog about guns and mental illness. I, I didn't want this channel to be uh, just about guns and mental illness, but there is another uh, mass shooting in America. And once again, people are blaming mental illness. And I feel like uh, the only thing that I can do is speak out and make a video like this again. Even after I made like a 45 minute long, I think, video about uh, this subject, and now it's about the Orlando, uh, mass shooting, and since then there's been, uh, an even deadlier mass shooting in Las Vegas, which just happened a month ago, I think, two months ago, not very long ago, and now we have this mass shooting out in Texas, uh, in a church. With each mass shooting that happens, I feel like the arguments against gun control get smaller and smaller. Like with the Las Vegas shooting, the guy was shooting from a hotel uh, down at a crowd of people, and they were uh, hundreds of feet away from the hotel, and it was at night, so how could they shoot back at him if any of them had a gun? Yeah, they didn't know where the shooting was coming from or who was doing the shooting, and they couldn't even see the shooting. And then was this Texas shooting. Uh, it happened in a church, and there is uh a bunch of politicians who, who said that same old line, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims. And then uh, I know a bunch of people online uh, cr criticized these statesmen, saying that uh, the victims already had prayer because they were in the church. They were already praying, so... The statement really means nothing if you're giving something to someone that they already have. And getting to the mental illness part, uh, the Texas mass shooter uh, had escaped from a mental uh, hospital. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know how long ago, but but he was in there for some sort of illness, I'm not sure why, it doesn't really matter, but uh, he was there, and then he escaped, and then he was caught again, and now people, including Trump, are saying that it was a mental illness uh, that was the reason behind the shooting. I think that uh, mental health is your problem here. We have a lot of mental health problems in our country, as do other countries. But this isn't a guns situation. This is a mental health problem at the highest level. Which, again, are just lies. I'm talking to you directly. Stop it. Uh, people with mental illnesses are at least 10 times more likely to be the victim of a violent crime than to uh, commit the violent crime. And uh, I've seen statistics where uh, less than 5% of violent crime is committed by uh, people with a mental illness. And out of that five percent uh most uh are not crimes that involve guns so yeah they're just just not true that mental illness leads to 
mass shootings. And even if it was true that mass shootings were perpetrated by people with mental illnesses, uh, Trump has done nothing to prevent guns from falling into the hands of people with mental illnesses. In fact, he even made it easier for people with mental illnesses to get guns. So, you know, this like... So he's lying and he's doing the exact opposite of what he says. He's a lying hypocrite, I guess. So, yeah, every time I think I can't hate Trump more, he says something else just as stupid and hateful, and I hate him more. And I think it's also something to point out that a lot of doctors have come forward and said that they believe Trump is probably suffering from uh, some sort of mental illness, like uh, narcissism. And... And as president, he is in control of a lot of weapons, guns, and nuclear. So yeah, the stuff that Trump says about this is just wrong, and it shouldn't be taken as fact, and it should be challenged, uh, no matter who says it. Yeah, it, it just uh, contributes to the overall negative stigmatization of mental illness. And it, it, it just flat out hurts people. Listen to me. Stop it. That's uh, all I have to say about this mass shooting. Uh, I don't want to believe it, but... It's looking like nothing is going to change, and I'll be making another video like this sometime in the future. Yeah, so on that uh, sad note, uh, uh, that's it for this vlog, and until next video, which... Hopefully it will not be one like this. Uh, goodbye.